As part of the um, the development work that we did with um, Rosetta, um, we've uh, it's effectively an end-to-end -end preservation management system. So it uh, starts from as close to the point of creation as possible. So it's very important in the preservation domain to be um, uh, as close to produce as you like. It's not like you can now, like we used to do with. Um, go and take a banana box full of letters from under the bed of the of an author or a composer or something like that. <clears throat> now we have to have a much more um, formal relationships with creators, and so from that point of view, we have uh, produce what we call producer management, which is the very very front end of the system. So you're getting right close to the creators of the uh, the information. Of course, this is um, vital for issues of provenance and context of the stuff when you're talking about 100, 200 years time. Uh, so it's a, a number of workflows. You can build workflows for different types of material. Um, so we have uh, digitization workflows, sound conservation, audio, uh, video conservation, um, our own uh, digitization program, web archive, and these all have their own material flows that can be configured within the system. Um, and you can also configure system, uh, within the system workflows for different types of people. So we actually have workflows for uh, really trusted producers right through to completely untrusted producers. And the, so the, the level of intervention is determined by um, both the material type and the, the um, uh, person or agency that's uh, depositing the material. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a number of things that we do as part of the process. Um, we, have a, we have what we call a deposit area uh, staging area and then the permanent area. So the permanent repository is where the digital collections reside. Um, we now have um, over a, what we call a, uh, a million intellectual entities. And an intellectual entity is a, a device um, to put a boundary around what the object is that we're preserving. So you hear conversations about are you preserving the object, are you preserving the file, are you preserving the bitstream, etc, etc. <coughs> we make our first determination around this notion of an intellectual entity, which can be a website, a book, a journal article, a single image, um, a, uh, a song from a, an album. So something that has kind of discrete intellectual boundaries. Um, and then we start from that point of view in terms of uh, the, the permanent repository. So there's uh, th over 13,000 websites uh, as part of that. And those 13,000 websites have around about um, 80 million files. So even though I'm talking about a million enti uh, intellectual entities, when you explode it out at the file level, um, it becomes a much more substantial exercise. And in some ways you need to be careful about what you're counting and for whom you're counting it.